The last time Dennis promised to support you, he double-crossed you, Iris. That won't happen this time. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Even if it's written in blood, there's no telling what Dennis might do. That's my concern, Rena, not yours. You didn't even have the common decency to give Ryan time to prove his innocence. The officers and board members are very upset about the publicity. They want some action immediately. Well, you can thank Justin Marshall for the publicity. He's the one who set the TV interview to embarrass Ryan. Oh, on the contrary, Justin did everything in his power to stop the interview. I know that Justin and Margaret Hansen are very good friends, Iris. She loves doing things for attractive men for a favor in return, of course. If you are suggesting that Justin would be unfaithful to Ashley, you are sadly mistaken. Am I? You tell Ashley Linden to watch her new husband's roving eye. He loves Ashley very much. Justin Marshall loves himself, money, and power, but not Ashley Linden. That marriage doesn't stand a chance. You're wrong. Ashley is going to have Justin's child. That's the most important thing in his life right now. Let's get out of here. I should think it would pay you to concentrate on Ryan's motives rather than Justin's. I mean, after all, you're going to marry Ryan. Oh, hello, Stryker. I've uh, come to ask you to set up a board meeting as soon as possible. Dennis and I want to vote Ryan out of office and vote on my nomination of Justin Marshall for the president of World Oil. You sure that's what you want? Absolutely. You set up the meeting and let me know. All right. Thank you. I won't take up any more of your time. You can't let her set up that meeting, Daddy. I have no choice. I have a responsibility to the board. You have got to find a way to stop her. If Iris has Dennis's support, and I gather she does, she's in control. Daddy, that means Justin wins. You can't let that happen. I read in the papers where you're having a little trouble at World Oil. That's, uh, that's one of the reasons I came over here. Oh, really? I don't see how that could possibly have anything to do with me. Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions about a friend of yours. Oh, who might that be? Peter Parnell. Uh, didn't the papers mention you were involved in a misappropriation of funds? Yep, that's what those papers said. Well, what does that have to do with Peter? Well, that's one of the things I'd like to find out. I don't see that I can be of much help to you, Ryan. Look, uh, Peter Parnell's partner, Jim Lawrence, was a very good friend of Alex Wheeler's. They did business together for a long time. But ever since Alex's death, Pete Parnell has been handling most of the transactions connected with World Oil. I don't know anything about that. Peter hardly discusses business with me. Well, that's all right. I just don't know very much about Parnell, and I was hoping you could tell me a few things about him. I'm wondering why you're not asking Pete these questions. I talked to him earlier. If I have to, I'll talk to him again. Would you like a drink? No, thanks. Does it make you nervous talking about Pete Parnell? No. Peter and I just aren't getting along very well right now. That's all. Oh, I see. He told me he knew you in Hollywood. That's right. Did he ever talk to you about how he first met Jim Lawrence? Nope. Well, did he discuss Alex Wheeler or any of his business dealings with World Oil? No, no, not really. Paige, when Alex suffered his first stroke, he was involved in investigating the same misappropriation of funds that I'm now being accused of. Yes, but I still don't understand how okay, that involves okay. Peter. When Alex had the stroke, there were several papers on his desk that dealt directly with Parnell's company. And I have a feeling that those papers indicate that Parnell had something, I don't know what, but something to do with that misappropriation of funds. Ryan, I think there's something I have to tell you. You know that Ryan is innocent. How can you just let him vote him out of office? We're going to have an obligation. I don't want to hear any more about obligations. I want you to find a way to stop Justin and to prevent him from winning. Rena, you have got to stop this now. I'm sorry, Daddy. That's all right, honey. You must know I feel exactly the same way about Ryan as you do. Justin's going to destroy Ryan the same way he destroyed Max. Don't you worry, Jenny. My Daddy is not going to let that happen. 
Now, there must be plenty of ways where we can frame Justin and turn the tables on him. Daddy will work something out, Jenny. Rena, you're asking your father to ignore every principle he's ever believed in. If it destroys Justin, I don't care. Well, I care. And so does your father and Jenny. I don't care. Justin has destroyed everything I ever loved and wanted, Mama, and now he's doing that to Jenny. Doesn't that matter to you? Of course it matters. Well, then someone has got to stop this. Someone has got to put an end. Daddy. Daddy. I will find a way to stop him. I promise you. Daddy. What's wrong? What is that? I've done something, Vivi. Something that in my heart I know is right, but no one else seems to agree with me. Oh. You're talking about Ryan Connor. I just... I don't understand. I'm, no one else can see the man for what he really is. Mrs. Wheeler? Well, what is it? Did you ever stop to think that maybe Mr. Connor isn't as bad as you think he is? You're against me too, Vivian? I'm not against you, Mrs. Wheeler. Justin is the only one who can see clearly what we're up against. Sit down there, okay? Do you remember back in Bay City? When you tried to get Dennis together with Cecile de Pouvenac. What has that to do with anything? It was only after you caused a lot of people a lot of trouble that you finally saw that Cecile wasn't everything you thought she was. I admit, Cecile had me fooled. But then she had everyone fooled. This is a very different matter. Are you quite sure? Of course I'm sure. One of Ryan's own employees has come out and accused him of being involved in a scheme to siphon off money from World Oil. Have you ever spoken with this man personally? N no, but Justin has. Well, maybe. Hi, Mr. Wheeler. You couldn't even face me, could you? Uh, I had left something in the stove, so, so I better go. Take a step, Vivian. Just stay right where you are. You had your launch drop you on the opposite end of the airstrip so you wouldn't run into me, didn't you? What in the world are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about, Iris. I'm talking about your flying down and talking to Dennis on the yacht. I fail to see what you're so upset about. You obviously did exactly the same thing. You asked him for his support at the board meeting next week, didn't you? It is our company, Grant. Uh, you're making a terrible mistake, Iris. I can understand your concern for your nephew. Not only concern for my nephew, but concern for you as well. Mrs. Wheeler, please, can I go now? You may not. You're going to be awfully upset, Iris, when you find out what a fool Justin Marshall's been playing you for. You're the one who has been played for a fool, but it's not your fault. Ryan has half Houston fooled. Mrs. Wheeler. Baby, stay out of Damn it. it. Iris, you are an intelligent woman. None of this makes any sense. Why can't you see what's happening? I can see exactly what's happening. Ryan is managing to destroy all of our lives, but it's going to be over soon. I liked Alex Ryan. I liked him a lot. He was good to me at a time when a lot of people weren't. I suppose I should have gone to somebody about this, but Peter kept telling me that there was no need to. Gone to somebody about what? You have to understand, Ryan, that I thought Peter had changed. I really believed that. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Paige. What are you talking about? If you know something, you have to tell me. I think Peter was with Alex when he had his stroke. 